Hey there, everybody. Check it out. Technology works great when you mash all the right buttons, doesn't it? My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. This is seven minutes in the morning. You get your daily dose from me in about, I don't know, seven-ish minutes or so. How you doing on this uh, Thursday? Thursdays are thankful Thursdays. Hey, Joe. I am thankful that Joe is here. I'm thankful that you are here as well. If you'd do me a favor, drop a comment, a thumbs up, a share, whatever works best for you in the venue in which you are hearing this or watching this. That would be awesome. If you're watching on YouTube, woohoo! hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you can be updated. Uh, if you're on Facebook, be sure and, and like the page before we run out of likes to share. I don't know. We'll work on that a little bit. Um, but we're live or on the replay. Doesn't matter. They all work just as well. So, uh, today's Thursday. I said that already. I'm, I'm going to work on the pain points list a little bit. I mentioned this earlier in the week. I am a, uh, regular reader of Reddit and one of the subreddits there that I frequent is called small business. And there was a super duper question asking small business that yielded all of these topics. The, uh, the question happened to be, <laughs> that's always funny. I look down and there's a little heart floating away. Um, that's my bride. Good morning, dear. And good morning to you, uh, as well, Cliff. Glad to see that you are here this morning. So in this subreddit, the question that was asked is, what is your biggest pain point with your business? And I got a whole page full. And I have to admit, I wasn't even the smart person that asked the question, but it's a lot of great questions to answer. So today, one of the comments that was made, this is what we're going to get to today, a lack of time. And I titled today's show, I'm out of time, because that's the way a lot of people feel. I've got so much I want to do, and I just don't have enough time to get it all done. Well, what do you do when that is the case? Well, Two things, and number one, I'm going to go ahead and put this up so that I don't forget to do that and forget to remind you of that. I have a whole one-hour video program to help you do that completely free. You just have to go to that web address and get it, tomrigsby.com slash fast5. Uh, that's fast in the number five if you're listening on iTunes or tune in. So, but here's the gist of it. In a nutshell, um, and I had... That's okay. I can do it without it. Uh, I had a little visual to, to go with. The number one thing is to get really clear on what your priority is. Yeah, Vicki nailed it right there. If you have a lack of time, then you have a lack of priority. The simple fact that other people are able to accomplish things and you are having difficulty means that it is possible. They've just assigned priorities in a way that allows them to get it done. Now, I'm not saying that your current priority sets are wrong. Sometimes people hear that and say, well, you know, I've got to put my family first. Okay, great. Put your family first. How are you putting your family first? I mean, are you prioritizing spending time in front of the TV with them? Or are you prioritizing building a security net for them. And, and you could do both. As I've said many times, my bride and I tend to uh, pick a show and then binge watch that show. And I look, and she's watching today, listening. She can comment on this. But I tend to look at that as time that we're spending together. So I work, work, work during the day when it is time, you know, when we're doing that. I do my very best. I'm not a hundred percent since she'll, she'll call me out on it, but I do my very best to dedicate that time to spending time with her. And then maybe when we're done watching, I work a little bit more. The point is not when you work or whether you're, you know, spending family time or not. The point is you have to have the priority. You have to know what that priority is and you have to make it the priority. If you don't choose to make it a priority, nobody else is going to do it for you. And no one else in, and you should not be surprised when it doesn't come to fruition. I mean, it's, it's not really any more complicated than that. Now, 
there are some extra things that you can do, and that's why I put the bug up there for Fast Five, because there are a lot of details in there on how to do this. But the very first thing you have to understand is the outcome you want to create and then make that outcome a priority. And here's another thing, just to, to challenge you a little bit further, because I know you haven't been challenged enough yet today. You can only have one priority in a day. Eh, one priority at a time. But when I'm planning the day or whatever unit it is, a year, a quarter, a week, a day, one priority. Because when I begin to say, all right, I've got three priorities for this year, then none of them are really a priority. Now, I might have three or even 30 things that I want to get done, but I can only have one priority. Because remember, where focus goes, energy flows. What we focus on, we get more of. Right. So if we focus on the fact that we don't have enough time, then we have less time. If we focus on the fact that, well, I've got too much to do, you get more to do. But if you focus on this is my one priority and I will make it happen, it will happen. Guess what you get? You get that priority. It's a, I mean, call it, you know, the universe conspiring to give us what we want. Call it reticular activation system of our brain. Call it whatever you want, right? But the reality is, if you focus on that one thing, that one thing comes to be. And you cannot focus on three things at one time. You can't. You can do time division multiplexing, right, which... 30 seconds here, 30 seconds here, 30 seconds here. And a lot of people will tell you, I had, I had, I had my office assistant tell me somebody's outside. I had somebody tell me one time that they could listen to an audio book being read and they could read a printed book at the same time and retain both of them. If that's true, that, that's an anomaly. And there are anomalies. But for you, yeah, probably not. Try that. Just thinking about that makes my head hurt. All right. One priority, focus on that priority, and then make time for it. And in fact, there's a whole section in the Fast Five program about how to make time for the things that are important to you. Start with the big rocks. There's a hint. All right. That's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Jerry, good to see you this morning, buddy. Hope things are going well with you guys. I haven't talked to you in a long time. I have to come out there and visit. Uh, don't forget, TomRigsby.com slash Fast5. If you're listening on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, or any other place you can listen to the podcast, head over to 7minutesintomorning.com. That'll get you to the right Facebook page where you can watch the show live, leave comments, uh, join in the conversation, which, by the way, the conversation continues long after the show is over, so... If you're watching on the replay, go ahead and drop those comments in there. We still see them and talk uh, talk about them. Tomorrow is Friday. It's hot coffee Friday here in town, so be sure and be there 745 at Hudson Alpha in the morning. Otherwise, I will be here 7 a.m. bright and early with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you have a thankful Thursday, and I will talk to you in the morning.